Hey all, this is Bob, AKA Mr. Reef Safe, and today I'm gonna clean my Neptune Triton culvert. Now, the reason I'm gonna do that is because the readings on my Triton have kind of been all over the place, and I was reading that that was one of the possible fixes for this to go in and take it apart and actually get in the culvert and clean it so that it is clear. It is a colorometer in there, kind of like the Hanna Checker, except this is automated. So you want to make sure that your culvert is clean and that the, the glass on it is just perfectly as clean as possible so that it gets the best reading as possible. So I'm going to do that today and uh, I'm going to do that in stages so you can see each part as I go. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the reagents out so that I can take the machine down without it spilling all over the place. And I don't have the caps. I have them somewhere, but I'm not going to look for them. I'm just going to put these in a safe spot so that I can keep them from spilling while I'm doing this. Next thing I'm going to do is remove the drawer, which just slides right out. And I'm also going to remove this cover, which covers the culvert. It's right there. You can see it, the, the red light. And I'm going to put these hoses right back into the machine to keep them safe because I don't want them getting kinked up while I'm doing this. Okay, so I got the Triton down. And for those interested, this shelf I just got an Etsy. Uh, I can't even remember what I paid for it, but it fits the Neptune Triton on there perfectly. And these little um, spools here that fit the waste and the supply line, uh, again, on Etsy, I think those are about $12. And it just does a great job of spooling up that extra hose. Uh, now, the one thing I will say about the Triton that I really do not like is the wire in back. It's very difficult to get to uh, once I get it on this shelf. Now, if you're not on a shelf where it's in a locked position, then maybe it's easier for you. But for me, that is a pet peeve. Okay, so I moved from the floor up to a table just to make it a little bit easier on myself. Now, you might have noticed that I did not shut the Triton down. I just unplugged it. And that is because when you plug it back in, it's just going to reinitialize and get everything going again so you don't have to do that. So what I'm gonna do now is lay the Triton on its side and you notice these little stoppers here, the, the feet, they double as screws. So it's just a matter of unscrewing those to basically unlock the, uh, the top of the Triton, you know, to, to loosen it up. Now, it, it only takes about a minute to do this and then once you do that, you can take the lid off. The feet are now off, and now it's a matter of getting the lid off the Triton, which is gonna be a little bit difficult to do with my camera in my hand, but I'm gonna to try to do it anyway. Now, what I took, did with the feet is I took them and I put them in the drawer of the Triton just to keep from losing them. I wanna make sure that they are accessible when I'm ready to put them back on and I don't forget where I put them. Okay, so I could not hold the camera and get the thing off, so I got it ready. Basically, what you do is you pull the sides apart and then you just lift up, which uh, it snapped back into place while I was holding the camera. So I'm going to have to do that off camera, but it just lifts right off. Once you've got the cover off, it's easy to see the solenoids in back. And up here is the culvet. That is what we're going to be cleaning today. Now it's time to actually clean the culvet. And we're going to do that by simply pulling these sides apart. And I'm doing it one-handed again because of the video. And it's just a matter of pulling that down and you have access to it right now. Um, you'll notice that there is that black strip over there. That's just electrical tape, and that keeps the cap on in place. So just peel that back, and you can open the cover. Okay, you'll see that I have the cap off. There's the electrical tape holding the cap on. And you see that little thing in there that looks like a, uh, I don't know, just like a pill or a piece of plastic? That's exactly what it is. That's a magnetic stir bar because that is how the reagent gets stirred up with the water. So we want to make sure that we don't lose that. So I'm going to take that out and put it to the side so that I can clean this. There it is. It's very small. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that right here in the tray with the feet so that I don't lose that because I need to put that back in. Otherwise, the Triton won't work. Although I've done this before, doing this one hand is a little more difficult. Now I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I am just gonna dip it in some RODI water just so that it can get the, uh, the stuff on the sides. And I wanna make sure that I get this good and clean. Now I'm showing you what I'm doing here, but I will do that with both hands in a moment. But you can see that I'm getting off with the Q-tip right there. And in a minute, I'll show you everything that I get off the Q-tip. Okay, so there's the Q-tips, and this is the one that I used that I dipped in RODI water, and you can see that it got pretty dirty. And then 
Here is one that I used dry. I did not dip this in, I wanted to dry it out. And just for, uh, to, for comparison, you can see there's a clean one and just how much whiter that is than the other Q-tips. Now it's time to put this thing back together. Okay, I'm gonna be doing this one-handed so it might be a little bit more difficult to do. It's pretty easy to do with two hands. One hand, however, may be a little bit more complicated. I have done this before, so if this is your first time doing this, I hope this helps. And if not, understand this is much easier than I am making it look right now. With the magic of editing, there we go. It's right into place. So now it's a matter of putting everything else back together. All right, so the cover is basically gonna go right back on the way we took it off. And we've gotta make sure that these little tabs fit down underneath this. There's like a little groove that they fit in. Now it's a lot easier putting it back on, but it's the two on the front and the two on the back, which I will do off camera. And then it's a matter of screwing the feet back on. Triton is plugged back in, the reagents are back in, and you can see the blue light is coming on because it's reinitializing. Make sure that your hoses are not kinked because uh, that can happen in the process. You want to make sure that they uh, do not get caught up or kinked in any way because you want the reagent to flow smoothly. So be careful when you put that back in and close the drawer. And then you're going to take the cover and I just, I pull the drawer out just a little bit. Again, I usually do this one-handed, or two-handed rather, and there we go. It's back on, it's reinitializing. Now, it's gonna run a test, uh, but don't worry about that test. And if it doesn't run one, go ahead and run one manually and just throw out the results of that test. Don't worry about that one. Wait for the next one because, you know, you might have skewed something, uh, like when I put RODI water in there, I may not have dried it out completely, so I don't wanna use that to skew the test. So. The first one you're just gonna ignore and follow the next one after that. It was that simple to do this. I hope that you got something out of this. If you've never done this before, let me know in the comments below if you try it. It's a lot easier than it looks and I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope that it was educational. Thanks for watching guys. This is Bob, AKA Mr. Reef Safe.